Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some more Warhammer 40k Mechanicus, shall we? Working with the tech no tech priests. And we've got some new missions here. This one um, says collect Necron Destroyer specimen samples, and we can get a cognitive canister. To boost a buddy. Cognition gauge max size increased by plus one. That's insane. So we have to do this. Um, and we will fight a destroyer, a warrior, and a flayed one. I actually haven't fought these. I don't think I fought the flayed or the destroyer, but let's do it. So we have already leveled up our peeps. Actually, you know, one thing I want to do is um, go to my cohort screen really fast and see now i can't really affect like the little tiny guys i could change their color scheme if i want um which is fun i can like paint them so i could be like oh no here's my little guy but i can't do much with him okay um let me go back then and take this mission so we're going to deploy these and then deploy a bunch of these dudes and roll. Reports received from Subdomina Kepra. Synopsis follows. Heavy resistance, minimal gains, mounting casualties. Confirm yes or no. Correct. There have been setbacks. Our troops have encountered a few, uh, a new Necron war form. Reaction equals delight. Pray, Tech Acquisitor, um, explain. Enemy Warform, Provision Designation Destroyer, Anti-Grav Technology Confirmed. Exploration Request File Accessed, Anti-Gravitational Technology is an area Styges, the 8th Magos, have requested as high priority. Study of Provisional Designation Destroyer plus Desirable plus Necessary plus Sacred Duty. And you would be famed throughout Styges the Eighth for exploiting this technology. Statement agreement. Request formulation follows. Commence deployment immediately. He's like, yeah, of course I'd be famous. Let's do it. Yeah, that's the whole point. I mean, glory, glory and duty and all that. A concentration of Necron destroyers is playing merry hell with our Skitari units in the tomb of Acropus. They are highly mobile and heavily armored weapons platforms. Taking them on is dangerous in the extreme. Reason to observe them. Our troops po uh, possessing such technology extrapolated to conclusion. Greatly increased battlefield effectiveness. I was raised to see that as a dangerous thinking, Magos. Put such piety aside for now, Subdomina. Is the cohort ready to advance? They are. I have plotted the likely location of the destroyer units. They are somewhere within this complex. The fortune of Mars be with you. Let's go Mars. All right, works of the enemy deployment number two. So we'll just jaunt over here and see what we find. We get an event. This area of the Tomb of Acropus is covered in hieroglyphics interspersed with depictions of Necron constructs most often engaged in war. Some of the images resemble the Necron destroyers with their distinctive anti-grav halls. So I can search them for pictures of philosophy. I can examine their battle tactics and weaponry, or I can look for weaknesses in the destroyer war forms. Um, yeah, that would be helpful. Every inscribed battle scene suggests the destroyers are more heavily armored, solidly, uh, heavily armed, solidly armored and mobile than any of other numerous Necron war forms. Such a blunt illustration of this particular enemy's capabilities does little to hearten the cohort in their mission to engage and battle the destroyers. So basically, I just waste t wasted time. Um, and I didn't find any weakness, so that's that's not good. So here's the objective over here, but we could get real greedy if we went over to the other side. We're getting greedy. 
It's just how we do things. Warning, our presence has been detected. I bet it has. All right, we got a glyph. Okay, so now I don't know if they changed these glyphs, but magnifying glass was bad last time. So let's try um, half magnifying glass. And it would have healed us. Okay. We didn't need it, but that's cool. Direct request. Bring it to me and direct request. Um, the cohort finds a sarcophagus containing a Necron destroyer that seems inert. May have malfunctioned and failed to respond to the tomb's awakening protocols. So he wants us to um, tag it, trash it, or take it. Let's just tag it. We got two command points. A nearby Skitari unit enters the chamber a few minutes later, but they're unable to open it safely. Instead, they take pick grabs and samples to help describe the Necron's awakening mechanisms. All right. So I know the guy's going to be mad about that, but what can you do? Let's go to the glyphs over here. Waste some time. See if we got anything. Okay. So smiley face is always reasonable. And yep, this is where we get the Blackstone. All right, we'll take it. We go back here. Okay, and now to a new event. Necron, they're awake. The lives of the Logic Saints, Psalm 61. Even in death, our duty is not complete. Man, that's rough. A mortally wounded Skitari lies on the floor of this chamber, his torso laid open by Gauss fire. He was evidently caught in a firefight and left behind when his unit fell back. It is likely the Skitari were attacked by Necron destroyers. This Skitari might have witnessed their tactics up close. Um, so we can do deliverance, help them, demand, or download. Um, I mean, look, I know the other ones are more useful. I'll try to help the guy. I love how bad that was. Though the trooper is badly hurt, quick and dedicated medical intervention by the cohort's tech priest stabilizes his vital signs. Though he can yield no intelligence for now, he will eventually fight again. The cohort has lost precious time intervening, but are provided with a rare example of survival against the odds. Interesting. So I don't know if this will help me later, but right now, um, their initiative went up and their awakening went up. So, you know, that... Transmission origin equals Necron. Xenos language study opportunity. Request study. Hark not to the aliens' words, lest ye unknowingly repeat them. True when Archmagos Veneratus Halon wrote it, Magos. True today. This chamber is bathed in constant data flow transmitted by the tomb's own awakening protocols. This transmission must be of Necron origin. All right, decode, attempt to decode the transmission, delegate, um, or dismiss. I'm going to delegate it. Somebody else do this. I love to delegate. Um, okay, so this, they get to reanimate faster. The ship's cogitators react with hostility to the alien transmission, and the machine spirit of the Castus Metallican rapidly quarantines the effective machines. News of this reaches the cohort who react to the near infection of their ship with dismay. Okay, that was a bad idea. I'm making a lot of bad choices and making the game harder on myself. This is the way of things. So we're going to get into a fight. They reanimate faster and there's more of them. Awesome. Most interesting, not all forms are humanoid. Logging data, Centurion form, gravity defying. The Xeno shows that they are more alien than we originally thought. Text of the oil cog uh, version point twelve states one converge from the standard form, but one must always retain their humanity or be lost to the men of iron and their ways. I do not mean to diverge from the discussion, says Tiresis, but what are these iron men? Big boy. Unclear. The text was logged many millennia ago. There's no other reference to them in my cogitators. 
So what Iron Men are is um, usually they're permadeath. They're playing on a harder degree of difficulty. Keep focused, brothers. We have a new enemy afoot, and we must ensure they do not surprise us with new trickeries. Be alert and focus. Okay, kill or destroy targets. So the destroyer is something we fought before with that, like, boss-type unit. And in addition, there is a terminal that we can scan. And that, actually, that appears to be the only bad guy right now. So there's spawners here and here, and uh, a large wall and a back corridor here. So we could try to go this way, single file, to get to the scanner. Um, which just gives us Blackstone, which is, if I recall correctly. So, um... That's fine, I'll do that. Oh, they spawn in, but they don't show you... Okay, well, that's not as good as I thought, but what can you do? Now, he's coming around that way. We're gonna fight the warrior. Oh, they got increased initiative, right. So... What we need to do is servo skull um, this guy. And he's got 18 health, but no armor, which is really nice. And then... I'll go ahead and move us... Oh, we're kind of up on a raised platform, so we can't actually move very far, which kind of stinks. I can double move, though, to over here. Which I think I'm going to do, because I don't believe that that guy has a ranged attack. It's going to go down here. Yeah, 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 sure. And then... Now this guy, we're going to servo skull, and I'm going to actually go ahead and... I could get this guy's weaknesses, but we'll get that next turn. I'm going to go ahead and just pick up the cognition. Give me the CP. And then, again, I'm going to double move to over here. Okay. And we're going to end a turn. Alright, so we can bring in guys. I only have one point to do that. But it's better than nothing. So I will bring in this guy right here. So he has to kind of loop all the way around. We're running from him, basically, which is so funny. Oh, I can't move through my unit? Ah, oh, you're kidding me with that. I can't believe it. Okay, well. Um... All right, well, if that's the case, I, I can move. He is in range if I just move to here. So I'll fire at him, sure. So we hit the guy. Um, we hit him for three, which is great. And then we can move back, which I'll do. Now, how far away is this guy from you? to shoot. You need to move really close, unfortunately, because your gun doesn't have very good range. So I don't know if it's actually worth it. I think I'm going to move down here and just gather cognition, to be honest. And we can summon guys in and then wait for him to get close and blow him away. All right, big boy's coming. He's going to shoot our servitor, which is just fine. Good job soaking it up and earning points. Yes, I love these guys. He's like, yeah, I earned you points just by getting wrecked. Um, we will move right here. What is this? Don't know. Anyway, we're going to hit this guy in the face with our arm. Blast him. So good. And then... Um, you're done. Here comes big guy. Actually, he has a gun. What am I talking about? Of course he does. Before he kind of... Well, maybe that's not a gun. I can't really tell what's a gun and what's not in this. He... It, it could shoot. Um, how many guys can we summon in? We could summon in a bunch. Human shields there. 
Human shield there. You go up there. Yeah, he does have a gun. And he just wrecks him. But that's okay. Got a cognition. They summoned another dude. Fine. Ah, machine spirit charged. Can I hit this guy? How far do I have to move to hit him? If I move here, I can actually hit him with both. So this takes one CP. I'm going to go ahead and use the servo skull and gather a CP over here. And then we're going to machine spirit charge this guy. Take some extra damage, you jerk. He took four. That was sweet. And then we can blast him with this as well. We gave him some acid, and we'll just move here and um, stand behind our guy. No problem. Okay, so you... We can servo skull this to get a cognition point. Make our life a little easier. We can move here to get in range. Of, with our gun. It's not as good as our buddies. But it did something. And then I can actually move up and hit this guy in melee. Which I think I will do. No, no, no. Actually, cancel that. Move here so that we don't block. I mean, this will do a lot of damage. Oh, I need to move further. Darn, okay. I was like, what happened? Okay. Chop. Four damage. Okay, this guy's almost dead. Oh, we got an opportunity attack. Good job, buddy. He's going to get killed, but he's going to give us just some wonderful service. Oh, God. The scarabs. Okay. I'm going to face right here on this guy and just hit him in the face. I don't know how many hit points this guy thinks he has. Apparently a lot. He might have armor, so we're not doing damage to him. Uh, we need to move over here and give some support. Actually, wait. Don't move there. Move here. I don't want to block this guy's shot. Oh! Oh, he tried to run from me! And he died! Provoking opportunity! Yes! You've killed a Necron unit with a critical hit. When you critically kill a Necron, they're unable to activate their reanimation protocols and are instantly teleported from battle. How awesome is that? Yes! So now we just gotta finish the rest of the enemies. That was awesome. Okay, I didn't need that to happen. The Scarabs are here. Another Necron warrior. Okay, it's getting a little spicy. We don't need spicy. Okay, so we don't even need to shoot that guy anymore. Let's go ahead. Where can I shoot? Um, if I move up here, I'll be able to shoot the Scarabs and just probably um, completely annihilate them. So this will give me statistical information on the Scarabs. I don't want them healing that guy. Alright. This will kill him. Scarab's gone. And end the turn. Alright. Um. Ooh, everything is charged up. I kind of have to do this, which stinks, and I'll waste my attack, but it'll kill this guy. So I'm going to move around the corner, maybe to at least, uh, you know, help him against one shot. I don't know if it will. And 
It is your turn, your time to shine. You can, I think, finish this guy off. Is that right? Yeah, he's gone. So I kind of want to come over here and see if he can eventually get around to help out. It's a long way. I still have my canticle to heal my big boy if I need to. So we're just going to move up with some servitor support. Oh, you poor guy. Don't get killed in one shot. Yes, you survived. Good job, little Bane. You did it. Oh, no. Well, he did his job. He took the damage. Blood for the blood god, buddy. All right. So, um, <laughs> I know this is ridiculous, but I'm going to move here and I'm going to scan it. I'm going to get the Blackstone. 77. You know it. And then um, I can actually move all the way into range. That's how sweet this guy is. Look at that. What I really like about this game is that the tech priests are just so strong. Here you go, buddy. All right, so yeah, that's why it was hard to hit him, because he has physical armor. Um... I'll take a cognition. Hit me. Three acid damage. Yes. I'll move over here just so they both can't hit me. Oh, you get to go? Oh, yeah. Let's reveal the stats on this Joker. Okay, he's actually really strong. But I can walk over here and uh, put this guy down. And then um, just shoot him to finish the job. The John Wick style execution. And I'm actually going to move up to this guy so that I get an attack of opportunity and I'm in melee range with him. Heck yeah. Take that. Five damage. Gosh, that was awesome. Now, I think I lose money when they get hit, so I will lose some money. But if I use my canticle, maybe you don't lose any blackstone. I don't know if that's like a repair cost. Oh, we crit him. Oh, we're going to win. Darn, I don't get to use the canticle. You can only use the canticle on the selected unit, so I would have had delay with that guy. I should have delayed. Let's see if I lose money, and, and I can just slap myself in the face. Mission complete. The cohort withdraws from the tomb, having experienced the prowess of the Necron destroyers firsthand. If nothing else, the Adeptus Mechanicus have learned of the stark danger of these Necron warforms pose. They do pose some danger. Anti-gravity comprehension index, 3.9%. Projected beneficiary, Stygi error, um, <clears throat> Adeptus Mechanicus. I am focused on matters much closer in space and time, Scavola. Retrieving tech acquisition, or tech acquisitor statement of purpose, to perceive the grander picture, to strive to acquire and understand for the benefit of all mankind. Be that as it may, I am more interested in how your studies will help our mission on Silva Tenebris. Platitude mode. Trust in scientific method, Magos. Platitude mode. Off. Yeah, so we did lose some Blackstone right there for the heal. So now I know. Um, but we got bonus. And... As a reward, not only do we get the money and the found Blackstone, um, we get... Oof. So the turns add to the Awakening, but we did get that and that, so that's sweet. And new canticle unlocked. Complete one mission without using one. Oh, okay. 
Wow, Canticle of the Craft. Next physical attack will do plus three damage. Man, that's sweet. Awesome. So, um, let's go ahead and look at our peeps. Not this, sorry. Cohort. And we can level up our folk. So let's click on this guy and go into um, yeah, him. And so this is my guy who is using an axe. So let's go to disciplines. And we've been doing this, so we got an extra slot here. It just says, all troops in range attack the target. So um, that's pretty good, but I don't think it counts for tech priests, maybe just troops. Either way, that's nice. And um, this will give us an augment capacity, so we'll say yes. Now, I don't... Actually, I could... Uh... I could equip this healing item, which is actually not a bad idea. Or I could go for another gun. Um... Or an extra energy damage. I like this. And then this dude, let's upgrade you. So what's on your tree? Um, you get deals one damage to target with the servo skull. So I think this means if you use the thing to scan it, it does a damage, I guess. So we leveled it up. We got two guns. We could give him the axe, like a melee weapon, but I think we want this baby. Just do plus energy damage. awesome all right everybody well we did a good mission there um i'm having so much fun with this game and i appreciate all of your tips and advice as i learn it i really like the system of the tech priest being strong plus the kind of weaker peons um the command point decision making and now the canticles it's just such a cool battle system everyone thank you so much for watching take care